Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to update you guys on a couple things. But the first thing I want to show you is Rob's Humpty Doo. <laughs> this is a miniature trailer, African Violet. And I had this in another video relatively recently. It was blooming. And I want to give you the backstory on this because uh, I'm not sure if I did the last time. But I had this plant. It was nice filling out, uh, you know, trailers, how like trailers do. And it was in soil. And of course, what always happens here in this area, in the soil, it started to rot. And one by one, the branches started to die off. They would damp off. And by the time that I caught it, I realized, oh man, there's not much left. So I took one sprig that was left the only viable sprig everything else was uh, too far gone at that point and I just stuck it in some of my polyester or acrylic I can't remember which one this is and sure enough I mean I kept a little bit of a reservoir and forgot about it it was under the grow lights and of course it grew a lot of roots you can see that the roots went crazy and it's been a couple of months I'd say and after a couple of months, I noticed that it was blooming, and that's when I did the video recently to show you guys. Well, the bloom cycle has ended, and I removed all the dried up flowers, but much to my surprise, it's getting ready to bloom again. See those buds? I'll make sure that we can focus. It's got new buds coming up, guys, and a whole bunch of new leaves, a couple of crowns in there. That's what they do trailers they have multiple crowns but shocking I mean I just threw that little piece hoping that it would survive until I could figure out what to do <laughs> I just threw it in the yarn and somehow some way yet another type of plant that thrives in the yarn to the point where it's multiplying its crowns and it is blooming for the second time now I I don't know what to say. I mean, I mean, I'm not surprised exactly because look at the begonias. I mean, they are all doing extremely well, okay? But African violets, I just, I don't know. I've, I've noticed that some plants do really, really well in this. Other plants, not so much. My coleus do really well to a certain point. Um, if you forget to water them and the um, yarn polyester uh, nylon or acrylic dries up like to a point where the plant wilts it has a little bit of a hard time coming back from that usually it does but a lot of times it struggles and then I could just lose the plant begonias not so much haven't had any issues with begonias yet whether it's rex or angel wing as you can see back there um, not a problem hoya not a problem <laughs> it's just uh, interesting, you know, I'm kind of learning. I'm learning as I go, and, and you guys are learning with me. So I just, I just want to show you guys this. Really, really cool, right? I'm very excited. I just actually gave it feed for the first time in here today because uh, it needed a little bit of water, and there's just a little bit of a reservoir on there, maybe like a, a half of a centimeter. But look at these. I'm just so excited about this because if I could grow this like this long term, oh, that'd be so easy. I mean, I had put this in here and completely forgot about it and it started to even dry up a little bit like there, there wasn't any moisture in the acrylic. So it was like all kind of wilted, right? And then I watered it and boom, it came back and then it started blooming. And now that the blooms are done, it's blooming again <laughs> and it's multiplying. So all I'm going to say is, for me, because I can't speak for anybody else, this whole acrylic situation, or polyester or nylon, has saved so many of my plants where I I don't know how to say it. I, I just, I've lost a lot of plants throughout the years, different reasons, but root rot being one of the biggest issues, especially because this area is so damp and there's no air circulation, stuff like that. But... I kind of think that the the uh, acrylic stays so 
damp that it creates a nice humid environment. And for plants that love humidity, I mean, look at this. They're loving it. They are loving it. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss, but I, I just wanted to show you guys this. Oh, something else I want to show you. I was going to pot this up, but I haven't yet. Um, I had gotten, let me see if I can stand this up on here without it falling. I had gotten a Rex Begonia, really, really pretty. Oh God, I can't remember the name of this. Um, I think it's a Jurassic series, something heart. I can't remember. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find it, dig it up. But anyway, put these leaves that were damaged in the plant, uh, plucked them and I put them in water. And of course, you know, like everything else, you get roots, you get, you know, a crown or two down there, but also, I got a really beautiful crowd coming out of the top of this leaf. So what I wanted to do, because I've done this before, and it worked pretty well. I got kind of bored of it, though. I, I want to put one of these, I want to keep one of these in water. Probably this one that has the plant growing on the leaf surface. Going to keep it in water culture, just to see what happens. Actually, this one has both. It has it at the base and at the top. All right, that's interesting. I'm probably going to cut the petiole, cut the leaf stem in half, plant the bottom one into the acrylic, and then keep the top one with part of that stem rooting in water culture, just to see the difference. I want to see the speed, because I know that these guys all have grown super fast once I put them into the acrylic. They just, it's like a, like a race, okay, 50 yard dash. These guys here, this isn't a good example for this. These guys, see them in the moss? You're not going to answer me. This is a one-way conversation. Anyway, these were propagation in sphagnum moss, right? They did really, really well. About two or three weeks after I placed these, I placed this in the acrylic. And look at the, look at the difference. This was propagated after these, okay? These are greener, dark green, you know, whatever. But look at this. It's caught up and then some. Uh, I don't know what to say, but I'm not saying that sphagnum moss doesn't work. Obviously it works, tried and true. I would not ship out plants in the acrylic like that, but I would ship them out in the moss. It's easier to transfer to soil for people and all that sort of stuff, but I just get so excited when I see something like this happening. You know what I mean? Because what has been working for all these others it just works really well in so many ways. And I never would have had this many Rex begonias in my collection ever because I'd have them and a couple months down the road, they get root rot, the leaves would start wilting. I wouldn't know what to do. I'd try to repot them, worst thing you could do. I never repotted them with the right potting medium. And uh, it just was always a disaster, <laughs> but not anymore, not anymore. So yeah, look at that, that one's really cool. That one's in acrylic also. Really, really pretty. So I'm even starting to consider taking some of mine out of semi-hydro and putting them into acrylic. This one here was in semi-hydro in lava rock, and it started to die off at the tips. To me, like, you know, the growth points. To me, that's telling me there's a root rot situation going on, even in the lava rock, where there was a lot of air circulation. So what did I do? I took it out, I put it in some acrylic, and it bounced back. It's nice and firm. That's where it had lost the grow, the grow point, and now there's a new one growing right there, and another one back there, if you could see it. So it's definitely turning a corner now, which I'm very excited about. Anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I just get excited and I wanna share it with somebody. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions about my crazy unique growing methods <laughs> just reach out I know a lot of people are just like eh, you can't do that long term well guess what it's happening long term um, it started out as an experiment and now it's turning into a way of life for me because of how many plants I've been able to save and how healthy they're growing oh my goodness anyway just reach out for anything don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the bell if you want to be notified and I will see you in the next video